Now the final step is to create our screws. So before we do that, we're going to first create the holes for our screws. So let's move back up here and click on the XY plane again. Next we're going to create a new sketch on the XY plane. Let's go and click on the normal button to look normal to it again. So as you can see here, it created something called Sketch 10. Now with Sketch 10 selected, let's go into the sketching mode. And we're going to create four circles. So click on the circle tool here. And I'm just going to draw four arbitrary circles in different quadrants. So one here, and one there. And then next what I'm going to do is click on the dimensions. And I'm going to use semi-automatic. So click on that. And now I'm going to dimension each radius here. And then next the distances for each one of these. Next we're going to go into the details view here and we're going to add all these properties. So what I'm going to want to do is change all the diameters to 10 millimeters. And I want to change all these dimensions here which is the spacing from the center of the sketch to 30 millimeters. Now let's go ahead and click on extrude. And using Sketch 10, we're going to click on Apply for the geometry. And for the operation, we're going to choose, instead of Add Material, let's try Slice Material in order to show you what this does. Now with Slice Material selected, we can see that it is slicing it in one direction only, the normal direction, so let's change that to both symmetric. And 100 millimeters should be good to pass through both bodies. And then let's go ahead and click on Generate. Let's click on the Display Pane here to get rid of the axes. So as you can see now what happened was it created a few more bodies. So if I click on the body select, let's say I hide this lifting lug so I can click on this lifting lug. Right click and click on hide body. You can see now that it created these other bodies in its place using the slice tool. So let's right click anywhere in the field and click on show all bodies. So now that that's done we're going to go and make the top part of these screws. We're going to click on this button here to create a new plane. And in this case here, we're going to choose the from face, and we're going to choose the base face to be this face right here. And click on apply, and then click on generate. Now this created plane 7. Now from plane 7, we're going to go right click, insert, sketch projection. And using the sketch projection, we want to project these circles right here. So holding the control key, we're going to select these faces right here click on apply and then click on generate. Let's look normal to this. Next we see here we have sketch 11. We're going to go into the clicking on sketch 11 we're going to go into the sketching and now under modify we can go and use the offset tool. We're going to go and click on each one of these circles right click and click on end selection and then click again to offset. Then we'll click on end once again. We'll do that four more times, right click, end selection, click, right click, end. Now once that's done we're going to click on the dimensions and click on semi-automatic and let's go ahead and dimension each one of these diameters to 50 millimeters. Next let's click on extrude and we're going to use the sketch 12 as the extrusion geometry. We're going to add material and we're going to extrude this five millimeters click on generate and there we have the top part of our screws so finally we're going to want to organize these parts and bodies together so it'll be easier to use in the final analysis so let's go ahead and check what we got here so we have our base we have our lifting lug and we see here now we have a bunch of other items called lifting lugs so if we go and we check on this one we can see that these are also called lifting lug and these are the basically the slices that came from the lifting lug and we have other bases which came from the slices of our of the base so what we're going to want to do now is regroup them differently so this piece right here we're going to call this to bolt one and then we're going to rename this also to bolt one and now for the top part of it we're also going to rename this to bolt one and finally we can hold control key and select these three items right click and click on form new part now under here we can rename this again to bolt 1. Next I'm going to do this for the other four bolts. So there you have your base, your lifting lug, and your four bolts. Now that we've completed designing our part in Design Modeler, we're ready to move on to the next module, 
which is opening up mechanical.